67. Grunters in the Pew One of my favourite passages in the writings of Spurgeon from John Plowman's talks is his description of many church members whom he compared to his neighbour's pigs as all grunt and no bacon. Now admit it, this is all too true a description of very many church members. Their usefulness to Christ and his kingdom is virtually nil. About their only activity is an occasional sour grunt. I remember when I was quite young and new to the pastorate the sad remark of a country pastor concerning a member. He is such a roadblock that, if he joined the devil's church, hell would begin to crumble. About all that poor pastor got from this member was cold water and every effort and a critical grunt. Now let's look at ourselves. Are we all grunt and no bacon? Do we manifest the fruit of the Holy Spirit of which Paul speaks? Galatians 5.22, Ephesians 5.9 Are goodness, righteousness and truth always apparent in us, or are we grunters? Where does Paul say that grunting is an acceptable substitute for love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness and temperance? Now, some of our modern Bible versions read a little strangely, but none of them say that. Well, perhaps your pastor isn't the best man for the job and you would like to get rid of him. Stop grunting, be loving, thoughtful and helpful. The shock may kill him, but the change won't hurt you. The author. Russus John Rush Dooney, 1916-2001, was a well-known American scholar, writer and author of over 30 books. He held BA and MA degrees from the University of California and received his theological training at the Pacific School of Religion. An ordained minister, he worked as a missionary among Paiute and Shoshone Indians as well as a pastor to two California churches. He founded the Chalcedon Foundation, an educational organization devoted to research, publishing and cogent communication of a distinctively Christian scholarship to the world at large. His writing in the Chalcedon Report and his numerous books spawned a generation of believers active in reconstructing the world to the glory of Jesus Christ. Until his death, he resided in Vallecito, California, where he engaged in research, lecturing and assisting others in developing programs to put the Christian faith into action. The Ministry of Chalcedon Chalcedon is a Christian educational organization devoted exclusively to research, publishing and cogent communication of a distinctively Christian scholarship to the world at large. It makes available a variety of services and programs, all geared to the needs of interested ministers, scholars and laymen who understand the propositions that Jesus Christ speaks to the mind as well as the heart and that his claims extend beyond the narrow confines of the various institutional churches. We exist in order to support the efforts of all Orthodox denominations and churches. Chalcedon derives its name from the Great Ecclesiastical Council of Chalcedon, AD 451, which produced the crucial Christological definition. Therefore, Following the Holy Fathers, we all with one accord teach men to acknowledge one and the same Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at once complete in Godhead and complete in manhood, truly God and truly man. This formula directly challenges every false claim of divinity by any human institution, state, church, cult, school or human assembly. Christ alone is both God and man, the unique link between heaven and earth. All human power is therefore derivative. Christ alone can announce that. All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Matthew 28, 18 Historically, the Chalcedonian Creed is therefore the foundation of Western liberty, for it sets limits on all authoritarian human institutions by acknowledging the validity of the claim of the one who is the source of true human freedom. Galatians 5, 1 The Chalcedon Foundation publishes books under its own name and that of Ross House Books. It produces a magazine, Faith for All of Life, and a newsletter, The Chalcedon Report, both bi-monthly. All gifts to Chalcedon are tax-deductible. For complimentary trial subscriptions or information on other book titles, please contact Chalcedon, Box 158, Vallecito, California, 95251, USA www.calcedon.org
edu. This has been a Calcedon Foundation production, produced by Grace Community School and Nicene Covenant Church, published by Ross House Books, copyrights 2016, Mark R. Rushdeny. If you've enjoyed this audiobook, be sure to visit calcedon.edu for more books and audiobooks by R.J. Rushdeny.